Good evening and welcome to Auburndale High School's 2021 Title I Annual Parent Meeting. My name is Lindsey Graham and I'm one of the assistant principals as well as one of the Title I contacts for our school. I would like to thank everyone for participating in this important meeting regarding Title I and its impact on student achievement here at Auburndale High School. At the conclusion of this presentation, please make sure that you fill out the annual parent meeting evaluation. The link will be included on social media as well as in the email message that the presentation was sent in. All right, let's go ahead and learn a little bit more information about Title I. Title I is the largest federal assistance program for our nation's schools. The purpose of Title I is to provide supplemental resources and services to high poverty schools, to migratory children and families, and to institutions serving neglected and delinquent children and youth. You may be wondering how Title I works. The federal government provides funds to states each year for Title I based on the U.S. Census poverty data. State education agencies then take that money and send it to school districts based on the number of families that receive free and reduced lunch or are a CEP direct certified. Then local school districts or LEAs identify eligible schools and distribute those funds accordingly. So you may be wondering, how does Title I help? Title I allows opportunities for children to become more successful. Title I also gives You may be wondering how Auburndale High School uses the 2021-2022 Title I funds. Our total allocation for the year is $364,496.25. Of that, $4,671.25 must be used on parent involvement. 
The remainder of our budget is used in a variety of ways. We employ four full-time personnel on campus. We have a literacy coach, a behavioral interventionist, and two college and career student success coaches. We also have money budgeted for technology items, supplies, as well as substitutes.
For curriculum, all Florida public schools implemented the Florida Standards for Language Arts and Math for grades K through 12. In addition to the Florida Standards, schools utilize the Next Generation Sunshine State Standards for Science and Social Studies. Some of the assessments that your students may take would be the 9th and 10th grade Language Arts Reading and Writing Assessment, or FSA. We also have the End of Course, or EOC, assessments in Algebra 1, Geometry, U.S. History, and Biology. Our 10th graders will be taking the PSAT, which is a math and evidence-based reading and writing assessment. Additionally, we offer the ACT, which is the National College Admissions Exam that is based on math, reading, English, and science. And finally, there are also district-based progress monitoring assessments that are ongoing throughout the school year.
One of the components of the Title I program is having a parent and family engagement plan for the district as well as each school. Listed here are some of the key points of the parent and family engagement plan for the district. Please notice that the district involves families in developing the district plan. They provide support and assistance to all schools to increase parent and family involvement. The district conducts an annual evaluation of the effectiveness of the Title I programs in schools. And the goal of the parent and family engagement plan is to incorporate evidence-based strategies that encourage effective parent involvement and allow opportunities to involve parents in the activities that occur in schools. As I mentioned on the previous slide, schools are also responsible for having their own parent and family engagement plan. Please notice some of the key points that are highlighted on Auburndale High School's parent and family engagement plan. As you may have noticed, we hold an annual meeting for families to explain what the Title I program is. We also provide parent workshops throughout the year that are offered at flexible times. We utilize Title I funds to support parent and family engagement, we develop a school parent compact with parents. We offer assistance to parents on how to support their child's education. We also provide opportunities to educate our teachers and school staff on how to engage parents and families effectively. Parent input is crucial in every component of Title I. As mentioned in the previous slide, one of the components of the parent and family engagement plan is to develop a school parent compact that outlines how parents, students, and school staff will share the responsibilities for improving student achievement, as well as describe how parents and teachers will communicate effectively. This document is on the screen right now. It is also going to be emailed to all parents and students, as well as being posted on social media and our school website. You are more than welcome to come up to the school and request a paper copy for your own personal use.
At Auburndale High School, we appreciate and value our parents and families. For Title I, we need our parents and families' help to determine the goals for our program, as well as plan and carry out those goals. We need assistance in evaluating our programs, as well as volunteering at our school. We would love for our parents and families to participate in curriculum nights, academic workshops, etc., in order to have more information and tools to help their child at home. We also value the input that is provided and welcome any assistance with the writing and revision of the following documents. The District Parent and Family Engagement Plan, the School Parent and Family Engagement Plan, the School Parent Compact, the Online Parent Survey, and the District Parent Advisory Team. Some of the planned parent and family engagement activities that we plan on hosting this year are the FAFSA workshop in October. This is an opportunity to provide parents and students information and assistance on applying for financial aid. We also plan on hosting quarterly parent nights, which will be an opportunity to provide information to parents on standards, curriculum, graduation requirements, testing, Additional information will be provided on college and career, as well as graduation and scholarships. Those dates are still to be determined. Finally, we'll be offering our Mission Transition and Acceleration Night. This is an opportunity to provide information to parents to help future students prepare for the transition to high school and to see what courses we offer, including electives, as well as graduation requirements. Again, that date is to be determined, but it will be held in the month of February.
The following information listed below is found on our school website as well as in our school front office. The district and school parent and family engagement plans, the district and school parent and family engagement plan summaries, the school improvement plan, school parent compacts, right to know letters, four week notification letters, a copy of the code of conduct, and the state, district, and school report cards. As you can see, we are proud to be a Title I school. For additional information at the district level, please call the Federal Programs Department at 863-457-4707. For Title I information at the school level, please email Lindsey Graham at lindsey.graham at polk-fl.net or Michelle Acevedo Torres at michelle.acevedo Torres at polk-fl.net or you can call the school at 863-965-6200. Thank you for participating in the 2021-2022 Title I Annual Meeting. Please take a moment to fill out the short meeting evaluation via the link that was included in the email. We will also be posting the link for the evaluation on our social media platforms as well as on the school website. You can also scan the QR code that's listed on this slide and it will take you directly to the meeting evaluation. I want to thank everyone for participating, and I hope you have a great night.